Hey, it's Lisa with Inspired Wellness Tucson, and today I wanted to show you some really simple foundational parts of Qigong practice to help you be able to do Qigong routines at home. So first of all, how we start, we're gonna stand with our feet shoulder width apart, pointing forward, knees are comfortably bent, and a little more bend than you would imagine because we're not just avoiding to lock the knees, we also want to engage the quads. So you can kind of play with rocking back and forth on your feet, playing with having the weight on the balls of the feet, kind of the toe area, and then rocking back toward the heel. And you'll notice you feel stronger and more stable when you're rocked forward on the balls of the feet. If you go onto your heels, it feels like someone could very easily knock you over. So we wanna let our body weight rest toward the front of the feet, right around there, just that toe pad. So we're gonna start there and we're gonna round out the arms with soft elbows and notice this very round shape and the space between my arm and my body. And also start to notice the hands. We're gonna have the fingers spaced apart, not together. We want energy and air to flow between the fingers. And we're also gonna have the thumbs kind of facing each other like a funnel. So instead of the thumbs popping up, which they like to do, you might catch yourself doing this, then go ahead and tuck the thumbs down so we're making kind of a J shape with the hand. Now this allows us to use our hands sort of like crab claws that are gathering energy and bringing it toward the body. And we're also allowing the energy between the hands to stay contained sort of within this funnel, right? So if our thumbs are up, we're kind of letting all that energy escape, tucking the thumbs down. We are allowing that energy to be harnessed and circulated towards the body. So I'm gonna show you just a couple of very basic techniques. You can start to feel the chi energy. And chi energy is life force energy, so it's the energy that animates all living things from plants and animals to humans. So we're gonna start with a spiral. So the left hand is going clockwise and we're bringing energy towards ourselves. You can almost imagine this is coming up at a 45 degree angle, so it almost feels like you're splashing water on yourself, you're getting clean. And this is a very cleansing feeling. If you've had a rough day, you wanna kinda of wash off the energy of what has come before so you can be present in the now. The spiraling is a wonderful thing. And in Qigong, in the Chinese um, philosophy behind Qigong, instead of having seven energy centers or chakras like they teach in yoga, we have three. So there's the lower Dantian, which is just below your belly button, the middle dantian, which is the heart, and the upper dantian is like the third eye. So we can do this washing, circulating, spiraling movement toward the belly, toward the lower energy center. We can raise the arms up, kind of like a ballerina, just raise them up in one movement and spiral toward the heart, washing, cleansing, opening heart energy, and we can raise the arms. So palms of our hands are pointing toward the forehead. It's not directly over the top of your head. It's kind of in front of you, shining light on your forehead and just kind of washing your mind, washing your eyes, washing your perception. And I'll show you another simple foundational piece where we're gonna be stretching and compressing the energy. Now this is timed with the breath. So as we inhale, it's like stretching taffy between your fingers. As you exhale, the energy becomes stronger between the hands, compressing it into a ball. And notice that the fingertips are aligned, so you could almost draw lines between the index finger and middle finger. Exhale, shrinking that energy back together. And one more time, we're gonna inhale, stretching that energy. Feel the sense of expansion, let your belly expand, pause. And then exhale, bringing that energy back together. We can also play with the wrists here, and I'll show you at the heart level, where we can let the wrists lead on the outward movement, and then let the heel of the hands lead, compressing the energy together, right? So inhale, opening, stretching, exhale, compressing that energy together. And we'll bring it up, 
expand as you inhale and as you exhale, contracting. And we can also press on the energy and bring it down like a column between our hands. And at the bottom, we'll take some big twin spirals. Again, the left hand moves clockwise. They're both going out, gathering the chi and drawing it in toward the body. Notice the thumbs are still down. The fingers point forwards the whole time. Just circulating, stirring, bringing that energy in. And on the last one, we're gonna wrap that energy around us like a skirt or like a cone of just kind of bending it around yourself, bringing that energy in to become part of your body. And now we're gonna press on the edge of the energy field. Now this is a tiny, precise movement. You don't have to move a lot. In fact, the smaller you make it and the slower you go, the more you're gonna feel like you're pressing on the edge of a soap bubble. It's really a cool feeling. And now we'll go side to side. Hands are kind of like crab claws, except all the fingers have space between them. And just a very tiny movement, pressing on that edge of the soap bubble. And we'll do it again towards and away. Press on that bubble of chi. You might even see colors if you close your eyes. And then we'll go side to side, pressing on that energy bubble and see if you can feel that energy pushing back on the whole inside of your arm and hand as you go. So those are just a couple of very beginner basics. And I will see you in the next video to go a little further into what you can do with Qigong.